Well, something's brewing in the Pacific Ocean. It happens every once in a while, and it will affect weather patterns all over the world. Yeah, Local 12 meteorologist Tim Hedrick and Scott Dimmick are here to talk El Nino. El Nino, you've heard the term, but do you really know what it is? El Nino will more than likely affect our winter weather and weather across the globe. El Nino is part of the natural cycle of the Pacific Ocean. What you are looking at is the tropical Pacific Ocean basin between South America and Asia. This is a normal weather pattern. Easterly trade winds pile up water in the western Pacific. The warm water is replaced by cold water near South America and Mexico. The result is rising air and rains in the west near Asia. At the same time, you have sinking air and calm in the east near Mexico and the U.S. west coast. With El Nino, a chain of events weakens the trade winds and warm water piles up in the central and eastern Pacific. When the ocean warms in the eastern part of the basin, we see the patterns of rainfall that typically are in the western part of the, of the basin, so over by Indonesia, over by northern, north of Australia, shift. And so instead of raining over Indonesia, it's now raining over the Dateline or maybe raining over the entire eastern part of the basin. The eastern part of the basin, that's the west coast of South America, north to California, and the southwestern United States. During the 1997-98 winter El Nino, we saw very heavy rains and significant storms over the entire west coast of the U.S. Now that results in flooding and landslides and, you know, the footage of houses kind of sliding off the coast into the Pacific Ocean. That's, that's like a worst case, but it is something we've seen with some of the stronger events. With a strong El Nino pattern, drought can be a problem in the Caribbean, Southeast Asia, Eastern Africa, Western Canada, and Eastern Australia. El Nino makes these areas prone to wildfires, and the ecosystem can be disturbed, leading to low crop yields and high crop prices. When the entire pattern of heat that goes into the atmosphere is changed, it leads to impacts across the globe. Here's the warming that took place across the Pacific during the winter of 1997-1998. And here's the warming that's going on now. No two El Ninos are the same, but a strong El Nino will tilt the odds of something different than normal, sometimes weather far from normal. At 6 p.m., we'll take a look at what we think occurs in the tri-state during our upcoming El Nino winter.